Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the third video here in our questions series uh, that is connected with the, our lessons series. So uh, just make sure you watch the lessons because all these rules we're going to go through today, uh, they are in the, well, that we're going to use today are in that lesson, in that tutorial 03 about uh, negative, negative numbers and how you add, multiply, divide and subtract with a negative number and what implication that has in different scenarios. So we have some more uh, elaborate and a little more difficult examples here compared to the ones we had in the actual tutorial video. So uh, you know what, just take a minute now. Uh, we'll follow our format. Just take a minute, pause the video, and actually do these yourselves following those rules and see if you can complete that. I do have the questions, uh, the answers to the questions down here that we'll go through. But uh, just take a minute and, and fix that. And just in a few seconds I'll scroll down. So make sure you pause the video. All right, one, two, three. All right, let's go down. Let's check out these answers. So, basically, here, um, what happens is that we follow priorities, of course, and we follow the rule of the negative number plus something uh, positive. All right? So, the, like I said, the rules are written in the tutorial video, but just check the answers out here. And two minus one is because we have something plus and something negative and the negative wins over the plus in the in every scenario where there is two different symbols the negative wins so we have 2 minus 1 equals 1 all right the second one uh, uh they're correct all right 6 minus 6 minus 8 all right so what you can do you can either calculate this first okay and the parentheses like the priority rules or you can break open the parentheses and then this would be like uh, you would uh, switch every symbol within the parentheses and break it open so this would have been 6 minus 6 plus 8 okay the 6 takes on the minus changes its uh, value uh, its symbol and the 8 changes its own symbol and that is plus 8 then but we, in this scenario, we just calculated the parentheses first, gave us minus 2. 6 minus minus 2. 2 minus makes a plus. So we had 6 plus 2 here in the end, and that gave us 8. Uh, in the next scenario, we have the same thing going here. We calculated parentheses, we got 6, and then we had our 9 minus 6. Okay, the, this was actually positive in here. But plus and minus, of course, the minus wins, and then we get 3. And here I did the other scenario as well. 9, here I broke it open. You see? The 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 4's symbol is actually plus here. You don't see it. It's plus. And it takes on a negative number. Okay, this minus, it takes it on. And the 2 is positive. This is the 2, positive 2. It takes on the negative. And this gives us the same answer, 3. So there are two ways to do this. Okay? Uh, and that is, like I said in the tutorial, because sometimes you have things in here that you cannot add together. You can't complete the whole parenthesis, so you have to break it open. And then it depends on if it's a plus or a minus here, what happens. If it's a plus, nothing happens. You don't change any symbols, you just take the parentheses away. But if it's a negative, then you have to change all the symbols. So the next example here, four, uh, we have, or the next, yeah, uh, question, is uh, we have something negative, and we have the multiplication sign on the other side, on the back here, which doesn't matter, this or this, it does not matter which way it is. Uh, but what we do here is we calculate the parentheses first, we get minus 3, and then we multiply 4 with minus 3. And if you multiply something positive with something negative, of course the negative wins and you get a minus product here, a negative product. Okay, always when there's a difference between symbols, the negative always wins. So the same thing here, let's see, 2 multiplied by 3 minus 6, which gives us a negative number. So we did that first, minus 3, and then something positive uh, multiplied with negative gives us a negative product here, minus 6, and then you plus 10, which gives you 4. And we're following the rules as well. We multiply first and then do some addition here. The next one, we want to multiply two parentheses, so we calculate the parentheses, minus 2, minus 2, and two negatives actually gives us a positive product. Okay, the negatives take each other out, and we get a positive product, 4. And now we come into some division action here. 
So something negative is the same with the like the multiplication. Something negative multiplied or divided by two something positive uh, gives us something negative in the quotient. All right. So minus six divided by two is minus three. Something positive on the top here on the dividend, uh, and then divided by the divisor here, divisor or divisor, whatever you call it. Uh, the same thing here. Negative positive gives us a negative. Okay. And here, it's the same thing. First, remember the priorities, parentheses first. So we get minus 6, minus 2, and then we divide two negatives together. It's the same situation as this with the multiplication. We get something positive as a quotient. So minus minus equals plus. Difference is always equals something negative. And here we have a long one, just to end this here, uh, a long example with all kinds of stuff, division, multiplication stuff. So what we do here is we s begin with the parentheses. So we get minus 10 in the parentheses, something negative. And then we see, oh, okay, I got to multiply it. So we get minus 20 and another minus here. Okay, we, d we finished the whole multiplication. We could have chosen to do this, but that would have been stupid. Why would we calculate 2 divided by 5? That would give us something with a decimal value, right? We don't want to do that, so we take the multiplication first. You can choose if you have the same priority stuff here. So they gave us that, and then we're going to divide, because we have to. That's the next priority here, and that gives us minus 4. And something negative and something negative gives us positive. And here we go. Finally, we got our answer here, 9. So I hope you follow through that. I know I talk a lot, and I know I just babble on about rules I already talked about, but still it's worth it if you if you nail this these are some base rules that you just need to know you know so keep that in mind and uh, i hope this helps you out go watch the tutorials check these out i'm sure you'll learn everything in no time you'll be pro real soon if you're not already pro all right so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video